Stampy's lovely world ended on the 21st of October 2023. His community gathered at 8pm to watch the conclusion of a series loved by every single Minecraft player. The video contained unmatched nostalgia throughout and ended in a way that brought us all to our knees. Watching this masterpiece end brought back a lot of feelings for me and many others, and knowing it was the last time we would hear Stampy's iconic outro felt like a part of my childhood was being ripped out of me. So, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I would like you to put your hands together for a video that I spent multiple weeks working on. The bittersweet conclusion to Stampy's lovely world. The video opens with his iconic intro, which would be the final time that he would say this in Lovely World. He continues to add multiple people to the love garden and then proceeds to take Barnaby on a walk. While he is walking Barnaby, Stampy realises he has a lot of mail, which he referenced a couple of episodes before the finale. All of the mail he has received warned him of past incoming hit the target attacks. All of the letters were marked VD, which we all know stands for Viva Dash, even though he never says this explicitly in the video. The final letter that was in the separate pile was from Hit the Target, telling Stampy that they should talk at his house. He meets Hit the Target on the balcony, and when Hit the Target tries to write a sign, Stampy says that for a conversation of this scale, they cannot speak like that, and decides to go to the Nether. Little did Hit the Target know this would be the end of the battle for Lovely World. Stampy enters the Nether, getting dropped into a battle arena filled with mobs. It looks like he's going to die in the section of the video, but William, Fizzy, and Polly arrive to save the day. Though they are hopelessly outnumbered, but they manage to escape the nether. They check on the dogs and the only person who seems to be missing is Barnaby. Stampy fights the target throughout the town after being ambushed by the doghouse. Viva Dash just seems to be standing there, not trying to fight Stampy, showing that she might have evolved as a character. After retreating to his castle, hit the target and Viva Dash stand on a balcony, with Barnaby hanging in a cage from a crane. A piston system is connected to the cage, which evidently would cause Barnaby to fall into a fiery pit of death. Stampy bargains with Hit the Target, evidently saying that Barnaby means more than Lovely World. In the end, Stampy walks away from Hit the Target, symbolising that he is the bigger man. Walking away from the two of them also symbolises he is walking away from his Lovely World. We are going to take a look at the final moment from this episode, the speech that Stampy made. This has stuck with me from the finale, and after thinking about it for a very, very long time, the conclusion that I came to was that Stampy is talking directly to us. Just listen to this for a second. Do you, you know, know what, Barnaby? Barnaby? Everything, Everything I said, I said back there, there was entirely true. true. This, this world, world really does mean a lot to me, but not, but not as much as you do, or any of the friends I've made here. Hit the target may have taken the things we've built, but he can't take away the memories we've made. In a way, we've both grown up in this place, and we've changed in that time, and it is sad to be saying goodbye to my lovely world, but I think it's the right moment to do it. Our time here has helped make us who we are today, and who knows what's going to happen next in our lives. So. For, for the, the final time, time from the bottom, bottom of my heart, heart I want to say thanks, thanks for watching, watching and I will see you later. Bye. The speech really does sum up Stampy's feelings and our own. The way I see it is that we are Barnaby. If this is true, what Stampy said shows the endless love that he has for his community, and the fact that we mean more to him than any materialistic object. He speaks briefly on how we have grown up with the series, and the fact that he has as well. He ends the speech saying that he does not know what's going to happen next in our lives, showing that not only does he know what's going to happen next with the character Stampy, but also his YouTube channel. After this, Lovely World had ended, and was never coming back. In our own way, we tried to continue Lovely World, including myself. While seeing minor success around the start of my, my continuation, things seemed to have died down, and whilst liking creating videos within Lovely World, I feel like something else needs to happen. Similar to Captain Sparkles, or MatPat, Stampy felt like he was stuck in the same old ways. As YouTube evolved, he stayed the same, which evidently caused burnout. So, with the end of Lovely World, we saw the end of Stampy Cat's reign over the Minecraft YouTube community space. So, what's next for Stampy? Well, he is continuing to write his novels, with stories within Lovely World being mentioned. He is spending more time with Squashy and his animals, and finally, spending some well-deserved time on himself. I'm sure if Stampy wanted to return to YouTube, he definitely could, but without Lovely World, his channel will never feel the same. Everything must come to an end eventually. I can tell you guys that sometime next year, my continuation of Lovely World will end, and I will focus more on myself and where I will go in the future. Thank you guys for watching. If you did watch until the end, you're incredibly cool, and I thank you greatly. Hope you, ha you, hope you have an amazing rest of your day, and I will see you all soon. Bye!